This video is based on a special report of Britain's most notorious con man Mark Acklam. Mark Richard George Acklam, born 1973, is an English con man and fraudster who was on Britain's National Crime Agency's list of 10 most wanted fugitives. His criminal career began at the age of 16 and he has been imprisoned five times in Spain since 1999. He was wanted by Avon and Somerset Police on suspicion of fraud by false representation. Mark Acklam was born in the Lambeth District of London in 1973, the oldest of four children. He was educated at Eastbourne College. He was first jailed in 1991 when he was sentenced to four years in a young offender institution for stealing his father's American Express card and posing as a stockbroker to commit a 1 million fraud that included obtaining a 446,168 mortgage on a house, and hiring private jets. He was described by the judge as utterly selfish and completely ruthless. His parents, who informed the police of their son's activities, sold their house in Bromley and began to rent to raise money to help pay off his debts. The events were the subject of an episode of Crime Limited in August 1993. Acklam has been imprisoned five times in Spain. He was wanted by Avon and Somerset police on suspicion of fraud by false representation after he started a romantic relationship with a woman in 2012, telling her he was Mark Conway, a rich Swiss banker and MI6 agent. The woman lent him a total of 850,000 which has never been repaid, his other aliases are alleged to include Mark Ross Rodriguez, George Kennedy, and Zach Moss. In May 2017, he was reported to have been seen and photographed in a cafe in Switzerland with a man who could be wanted fugitive Costas Estevez. Police seeking to detain Acklam under a European arrest warrant had previously been searching for him in Spain after he was released early from prison there before the warrant could be issued. Acklam was on the National Crime Agency's list of 10 most wanted fugitives. On 30 June 2018 Acklam was arrested at an apartment in Zurich and after extradition in 2019 was set to face trial later that year. Acklam admitted fraud relating to 850,000, acquired from a woman he targeted, at Bristol Crown Court in August 2019. He was sentenced to five years and eight months and was the subject of a Sky documentary in 2019, Con Man, The Life and Crimes of Mark Acklam. In sentencing Acklam to five years and eight months, Judge Martin Picton called him cruel and cynical and said that he took advantage of Miss Woods in an utterly selfish manner. The court heard that he turned Miss Wood's life upside down after she met him on January 19, 2012. At the time, she was a happily single and sociable divorcee living in rented accommodation in Tetbury, near Bath. Charles Thomas, prosecuting, told how Miss Woods was looking to buy a property as a cash buyer, with 800000 to her credit, but was not planning to spend all of that money on a property. But just a month later, on February 29th, Miss Woods had proposed to Acklam, who she knew as Mark Conway, and regarded the relationship as a permanent one, Mr. Thomas told the court. Miss Woods understood that they were to marry, and even spent 6000 on a wedding dress, which she still has to this day, Mr. Thomas said. Sentencing Acklam, Judge Picton said, you took advantage of your victim in a cruel and cynical manner. I accept that you did not target your victim from the outset. But it is plain that once you knew what you might glean from her, you set about doing so in a ruthless and utterly selfish manner. You were quite prepared to spin a web of lies, and you cared not at all for the emotional impact. The money you did get from her slipped through your fingers like water. Having cut ties from her you escaped from this country, and since then you have not made any effort to make good for the harm that you did. Miss Wood has not seen a penny of the money you took from her and it is pretty unlikely that she will. Acklam was sentenced to five years and eight months, with the 237 days he has already spent in custody since February counting towards this sentence. Heartbroken Carolyn, of Bath in Somerset, previously said, I was completely devastated, he left me destitute and destroyed my life. 
I felt as though I had fallen in love. He told me he had never felt this way about anyone and we must get married. I've still got the wedding dress I never wore. It was all a charade. At the time I actually wished he had killed me. I was suicidal. Carolyn met Acklam in 2012 when he came into her boutique to buy a jacket, chatted her up and said he was a Swiss banker visiting the UK to buy a Cotswold airfield. Thank you for watching this special report of a notorious con man in the UK. Please remember to subscribe free of charge below, help us to expand our reach on YouTube.